Good morning, you guys. I love this so much. It's seriously becoming the highlight of my day every day. How did you get in so early today with the uh, with the video? She's a hacker, Russ. I'm a hacker. <laughs> so I'm sitting there trying to talk to everybody, and you're dancing like a crazy one. What are you listening to? I wasn't listening to anything. I was singing in my head. <laughs> so so you're you're dancing and going crazy, and, and it, it, it's a little distracting. Um, uh, but I'm glad you're happy. That's Come good. on, man. Come on, man. You're a professional. You can just tune it out. Like you can just look at something else. No, he can't. Uh, he literally was getting distracted the whole time. I, I tried to cover up your box there, but I. I, I, I well, you know what I mean? The, 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 the box that she's on in the thing. Uh, 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 but anyway, I'm glad you're in a good mood. Uh, what, what's happening at I'm Gatorland? I'm in such a good mood. I'm in such a good mood. I'm up. I'm hard charging it. I'm doing so many things. I already had two meetings before I even got in here with y'all. Really? So there's still uh, what, what kind of what kind of meetings does Gatorland have when? Uh, I mean, there are no tours there now, right? Well, it's a super secret meeting and it was with oh. the people from Ted so that's all I'm gonna tell you oh wow okay, okay. That, yeah, Ted, yeah. like Ted talk after you did the Ted talk uh, what, what's happened after that like what 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 came from that well the video lives on but in light of the Tiger King and how everyone's sick of it now uh, Ted might start using my video and all their social media and change it from Tiger Queen to Gator Queen. Tiger oh. King to Gator Queen. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay, that's smart. So I had hey, a meeting I, I, about that this morning. But, you know, you just said that uh, people are sick of it. Uh, there's a report that comes out today and it says Tiger King is now uh, Netflix's biggest hit ever. It's even bigger than uh, uh, Stranger uh, Things. Stranger Things. Duh, of crazy? course it is. It's got tigers in it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just wouldn't think it'd be bigger than Stranger Things. That took over, you know? Well... Just you guys just hang tight because Gatorland's about to do something amazing to kind of uh, Gatorland's about to do something amazing to try and kind of put everything in a different perspective with regards to this because um, well you'll just have to see it when it happens I I don't want to start talking and talk out of turn and say something because you know I'm not a cat person but, I know yeah, uh, yeah. but you do well, realize we do have some big big cats the, the, here the appeal of the Tiger King and of uh, Joe Exotic isn't really the animals. It's the fact that he's a train wreck. It's the fact that he's a, you know, a complete nut train wreck, a gay redneck, uh, who new owner. I mean, it's the whole train wreck part of it. That's why people are watching. I mean, I mean, speak for yourself. Like I know people like that. So why are you trying to tell everybody how to live their life? I'm not trying to tell everybody how to live their life. Uh -oh. I hope he does release me because I am one of Donald Trump's <laughs> biggest fans. The fact of the matter is that he is the greatest leader that the United States has ever seen, better than that Barack uh, Obama, uh, who was crap Obama, if you ask me. So, uh, Mr. Donald J. Trump, if you have the kindness in your heart, which I know you do, uh, one of the kindest men that I've ever seen, uh, please release me. And if not... Take care of Carol F. and Baskin for me, okay? How about that? Well, Just here's, hey, Joe, Ex Tiger Joe King, Exotic. Here, here's the Oh, sorry. No, no, I was going to ask Joe Exotic if he's surprised because yeah. he's he's in prison, so he, I don't know if he even mm -hmm. knows about all this. But but they just uh, announced that uh, your your show, your Netflix show, is bigger than Stranger Things. Does that surprise you? That doesn't surprise me. Season one was awesome. The rest of the seasons kind of fell flat. And uh, if you know anything about Tiger King, is as my series goes, it only gets better. So I want to tell all y'all out there that um, that Tiger King is the king. Stranger Things things suck it <laughs> well i'll say this to you tiger king i appreciate the fact that you pulled your knife out for that last segment um, absolutely and and i just want to say that i think you've always had a star quality that, that that no one's been able to pick up on until this time of the pandemic and i think people are really kind of coming out of the coming out of the walls right now to support you I think you're right, and that's why they're calling me Oklahoma Jesus right now. Is because I had been tucked away 
for many years in the cave of Oklahoma. And then during yeah. Easter time, good Jesus came out, and I am a good Jesus-loving boy. And now the world is getting to see all my prowess, my, my intelligence, and my know-how. Right. And that's why I'm going to get out of jail if it's the last thing that happens. And the last thing that may happen is that I that I go after Carol F. and Baskin again, okay? So, Savannah, if people compare you to, the, if, if they say that you are the female Tiger King, uh, is that a, a compliment to you, or is that a, you know, does that offend you? Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about cats, really. So that that's a crazy sort of comparison. Oh yeah, crazy. No, both are animals that can kill you, and uh, both of you, uh, uh, you know, wear the the clothes that match the animal that you that you you train. So it's sort of yeah. kind of the same thing. But I mean, back in the day, uh, like a Hummer could kill you, and people weren't calling you the Hummer King. Yeah, they well, were. Some people were. <laughs> <laughs> some parties in Ocala were. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. True. Hell yeah. Listen, I was, wa- I was watching you guys this morning while I was putting all my makeup, like, so it was super early in the morning. Pretty and I don't girl. know. If- and I don't know if you guys know what hateful looks Ryan gives you guys behind your back, but oh my gosh, he <laughs> me mugs all you guys behind your back and you don't even see it. I saw Savannah, I've been trying to tell these people this from the moment that dude rolled in on this yeah. show. And I was so happy that I was always in my own room. I tried to warn you. I was like, you don't understand the disdain that this guy has for us. He even told us that he grew that beard to hide his facial expressions from us. Like, for real, I was watching him stare at the back of Angelique's head, and and the stare was so hard and nasty that it came through the YouTube and hit me in the heart. And I even texted Carlos, I was like, dude, why is Ryan Mean Mug and Angelique so hard? You know what? He does that all the time. I, 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 I don't That's know. why I turn my back. I don't know what's going on in his head half the time, Savannah. I, 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 you, Neither you does he. Him, you can talk to him, and he just has a blank stare, and he's, he's like he doesn't even know what. <laughs> it's true. Isn't that true? Yeah, Carlos, with... so am I not lying? Carlos and I will be sitting in the room talking to him, and he just. Uh, murderous he's, thoughts, he's, I think. He's are. super stressed. This he's is just the way I look. Eating. I don't understand, like... It's just your face? I have resting blank face. <laughs> here's, here's what I imagine the dialogue is in Ryan Holmes' head. It goes What's like that? this. Should, should I say it out loud? No, I shouldn't. Should I say it out loud? No, I shouldn't. Should I say it out loud? No, I shouldn't. I'll just make a mean face. <laughs> no. No, that, the dialogue in my head is just uh, essentially this... Ah! All day long. That's it. It's just that. Because you're thinking too much. You think way too much. That's a problem with it. Wait, wait. All right. No more thinking. I'm just going to say everything that comes out of my head today. And uh, no, that, welcome to No Filter Thursday. I agree with Savannah. However, Savannah, I'm going to include in there. I He's also thinking, what else can I go eat? I need to go eat. <laughs> yeah, I that's true. Say anything. Savannah. When am I going to go eat? You're When's during the, the break. break. All you're doing is making like a version of porn that does exist, which is light, softcore porn. But you call it stretching. I have to leave the room because I'm so uncomfortable. Savannah, have you seen? Have oh you been, my gosh! Have, have you watched Ryan Holmes eating? Because he, he eats right on mic, uh, right on camera. I'll get it there. He he is eating so That's much. That's my version of porn. It, when you finally see him, <laughs> Savannah, you're gonna be like, oh my god, you have gotten thicker. Yeah, I mean, I can tell he's thicker just by looking at the YouTube. But I think the YouTube does put on seventy pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like a thicker. There's ladies out there who like a thicker milkshake of a man. I mean, uh, I, yeah, I, but I, but it's all in this one pot belly. Like, oh, like he doesn't spread around. Like it only goes to the Santa pot Claus. belly. It's good. It's a good look. And you're not a like if, you're not a delicious a milkshake. Nation? You're more like a you're a broke down smoothie. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you're you're more like a boba tea. <laughs> oh yeah, with chunks in it. Lumpy. So, so you've been you've been able to watch him because we're not paying attention to him the entire time, but you you were able to watch him and he's making like dirty faces. <laughs> oh my gosh! This morning, so I get a, usually I listen to Joel Osteen in the morning because he gives me a really positive message. But since uh-huh. I've been calling in, I want to know what you guys are doing. So right. I watch you guys on the YouTube, and I've Appreciate been watching that. Ryan behind you guys back. Mean uh-huh. mug all you guys. Like it is ridiculously obvious that he yeah. hates ninety nine percent of the people on the show. <laughs> I like look, if you want to get real, I hate th- this job. I hate being here. These people are a bit much at all times. Everybody is a look at me, look at me person. Oh, just, look at you. And I just want to yell, Hey, shut up, my turn to talk. <laughs> That's all. Like just I, I, it's too much sometimes. It's too much. He's not joking, people. 
<laughs> something's wrong. Something's wrong with him. He's going to come in one day and shoot all you guys. That's what's going to happen. Whoa! Hey, don't give him any ideas for God's sake. Too far. I, hey, tried, I tried to warn you all. Idea. Hey, Savannah, you know, it must that. be the lady that yeah. you know, because you won't tell us who you know, but you know somebody from the from the Tiger King, and you're afraid to I talk. I know multiple people in the Tiger King. Oh, do also you? Also know well enough never to say anything about them. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's they got just... good lawyers. Do you and Carol Baskins have the same stylist? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, gee. Damn. You know what? I'm oh, not hell. sitting in there. And you can't project the eyeball hate on me. You're going to try to do it with your words, Ryan. Well, I got two things to say to you. One, you're a lazy piece of ass. And two, <laughs> you're always going to be fat. So you shouldn't even worry about the topic you guys were talking about in the last conversation. Because your belly's going to get in the way of all of it anyway. Damn. Condoms. <laughs> She's speaking the truth right now. And Whatever, stop me mugging Angelique, because she ain't done nothing but be nice to you. <laughs> Savannah. He does. He, well, He's he, doing he, it right me. now. I know he he knows he can't say anything to you, Savannah, because he knows you'll pop him upside the head. So he takes all of his anger for you out on poor old Angelique, and she and she ain't done nothing. The moment that's, I open my mouth, just... everybody thinks I'm just being mean to him, but they're not paying attention to what he's doing behind me. Nowadays, everybody want to talk. They got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lips with the gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> Want to act like talk about drink? <laughs> what? It didn't so sound like it. That, 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 it did know. sound good. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I was thinking that was exactly what what needed to be said there. <laughs> All right, so school that was of croc. Amazing. School of croc. You're gonna give us a hint on the on the animal for today? It's the most dangerous animal we've ever had on School of Croc. As a matter of fact, I'm a little bit nervous about even doing it, um, but it's going to be it's gonna be uh, the most dangerous animal we've had so far. It's got to be a black mamba. It's got to be a black mamba. That's my guess. What do you, what do you think, Carlos? It's going to be something... Uh, the most dangerous thing in Gator Man, I think, is a black mamba. The most dangerous thing? Yeah, I thought the green mamba or black mamba was definitely uh, up there. Black or like Ricky Ticky Tabby says, the brown snake that just comes up from the dirt. Mm -hmm. Brown snake. Yeah. Oh, I had a snake in my yard yesterday. Never mind. Never mind. Me too. Breaking news, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the most dangerous animal at Gatorland, uh, Angel? Uh, it's going to be, uh, what, one of the Cuban crocodiles. <laughs> Cuban crocodile. Um. <laughs> Ryan, what do you think Ryan, it is? Can you Ryan, can you just see that rap one more time? <laughs> I think I think the most dangerous animal Gatorland is just me st staring at a mirror through a rap lyric. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move the lyrics. It's a bunch of gibberish. It's to act like they forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. It's today. It's School of Croc. If you go to Gatorland.com, you can watch School of Croc at 10 o'clock with your kids. Your kids no, will like not it. Gatorland.com. Gatorland's Facebook. Oh, okay. And y'all need to be following me on my social media because my life is straight tripping at Savannah Bone on Instagram. Let me just throw that plug out since the guy that got a plug didn't throw his plug out. I know. He forgot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, Savannah. We'll, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Oh, tomorrow? I'm going to try to take the Zoom outside so you guys can see some alligators when I come in here. Ooh, okay, that's yeah. good. That'd be awesome. Ooh. That'd be great. Very cool. All right, you need appreciate to be more that. excited about that because it's going to take a lot of work. I said, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Cool. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let me hear you say, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you're listening to the Mantra of the Morning. I love y'all. Bye-bye.